Hello everyone, my name is Kozlux, welcome to the video. Today I will be teaching you guys how to play Lance in this current patch. I forget the number, but it's in the title. Er, since last video, Lance Sidelight Nair into GCN Light has been patched, so my play style has changed because of it, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to play and win with Lance in this current meta. First, which character should you play? Right now it's Spear Meta, so the top three Lance players in the order would be Vrax is the best lance in the game because guns are in a great spot and his sigs are insane. Orion who I played very recently. His spear and lance are good, the sigs aren't busted but some are very useful. Some aren't like spear and sig. Third best is Roland. I like swords so I've been playing Roland. I've got the most experience on him and therefore I'm gonna play him. I like his sigs and I know how to use them properly. So how do you play Lance once you pick your main? Because those are the three most viable characters right now with Lance. Artemis is good, but the Lance sigs are really bad. Uh, Scarlet is good, but Hammer's not in the greatest spot right now. So your base combo at white health should be side light down there. It's a true combo. It works until I would think around like 90. Yeah. Works consistently until 90. White health is always gonna work, right? So always start off with side light down there, because side light down there is your like your true combo. Side light's your combo starter. Um, when playing, work on really punishing with Lance side light, not really aggressing, because it's like he uses a move, then I can punish properly with side light. So you go side light. Side light down there, it takes a bit of practice, but once you get it, you'll be able to do it pretty easily. Side light down there, end light, that's two dodge frames. Mm, sometimes they'll dodge, sometimes they won't. Two is a lot easier to dodge than one, so you'll find people, you'll be able to land that like 20% of the time. And it's not too risky until you go into later healths. But uh, yeah, side light down there, end light is a very good combo. Especially if they burn their dodge, 100% use it because you can only dodge out of it. You can't jump out of it. If you want, if you notice that they dodge in, what you're gonna want to do, or if they don't dodge at all, side light down or down light. It's a couple more dodge frames, but you can like catch a dodge in with it, or you could like dash towards it, use it, and then you can use a down air, down light and light. So like watch this, uh, or you could do a side light. That, that's an end light. I wouldn't say to always go for the down light. No, follow up. There we go. I got eight dodge frames there, but that's actually two dodge frames. I'm not saying to always go for that down light follow up, but it can lead into a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. So especially if it's like end light into a D light, you can catch dodge in reads. And if you can catch that off stage and land a dare, it's really good. So something like that here. Uh, I'm not gonna send this dodge in right. Let me try and do it. When they dodge in and you catch that down light after follow ups, it can lead into a lot of reward. So definitely that's when you should be using down light as a follow up to gain more damage or as a, uh, if you're stacked, you just down light. Because the hitbox isn't stacked, but it's like pretty stacked. So like your previous position gets hit. And uh, other than that, downlight is a little bit useless. It's you're not gonna find it too much in neutral games, so only use it as follow-ups unless you are 100% stacked. And don't use it consistently as follow-ups because Saren to end light is two dodge frames compared to C into Saren to D light, which is I just got six dodge frames. Four right there, it's probably four. It's just a lot riskier. Right? And it's also harder to land a bit. I have to use a dash. That's two dodge frames right there. So I guess if you want it at like white health, you can. But for the most part, you're not gonna land it without a dash, which will make it like four dodge frames. Unless you pick up that weird dare. Like right there. But it's that's that's so hard to pick up. 
It's got the same startup, I believe, as Enlight, but Enlight just has more horizontal range, which will make it a bit easier. So yeah, white health side, like down air to like Enlight or D light. Sair into Enlight is good, but always go for side light. It's a lot safer than Sair. When they reach mid-range health, so around 90, you can no longer hit side light there consistently or side light and light. So what you're gonna want to do to build up the most damage possible is side light nair. Side light nair can lead into like more nairs and you can juggle with nairs or you can potentially land like stair follow-ups and things like that. And even signatures. I know Orion GC and Sig can sometimes work if they dodge down from stair or if they don't dodge at all. I think Nair follow-ups catches the most dodgy, but Dare is the most consistent. So I would go for more Nairs unless you know that they're dodging downwards and use it there. Or if they're dodging up then use like a signature. But that is basically how you're gonna get your opponent into the red. And Sair into recovery can also work, but it's a lot of dodge range. So just play it safe. And like go for it if you think you can land it. Or you know you can't get punished. So after using side light Nair. As you get closer and closer into kill percent, Nair into Nair, like, you can keep doing it, so it's not like side light air, but it's not really efficient at a certain point, so what you're gonna wanna do is side light into side air. It's very easy to land, and it's better than side light recovery, in my opinion, because it's hard, it's easier for me to get side light air one dodge frame. Side light recovery is also one dodge frame, but I can get it less consistent and I'll accidentally use a SIG on the ground. Like, here, let me see if I can. If I slide my finger really fast, like I can do it, but sometimes that will happen, right? So I would do side light Sair. It's also gonna kill a bit sooner than side light recovery, especially if you're like next to the edge position. Side light recovery will kill, let's see. It kills at 170, but side light Sair, that's gonna kill. Use it, if, if you're on the soft platform above, like up here, use side light recovery. Especially if you do like a GC side light, then yeah, use a side light recovery. And it's very easy because you don't need to jump with a GC side light. Make sure you use side light Sair at later health. And if you can't really land the side light, then like dash jump Sairs for aggression could work, but they are very risky. So like, don't just only go for Sairs. Always focus on punishing with Sairs and punishing with side lights. Side lights should be your primary punishing option because side light recovery is very hard to dodge until you hit like high diamonds. Yeah, you're definitely gonna wanna do that to finish them off. And when in doubt, just switch weapons because down light Sair has way more kill options. Might not kill as soon as Lance, but it's a lot safer. That one D light, like, Lance doesn't have that. It's just a lot safer. You can also do, like, GCs very easily. That's going to kill. And, like, Nair will also kill eventually. So when in doubt, switch off the weapon. Because Swords is easier to kill with. So are guns. So are... So is a spear right now. Because spear is pretty crazy with the Sair. And D light. So, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, Lance is still vi viable. That's how you should be playing it. And that's how I'm going to be playing it. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, comment, and if you have a suggestion on how I should play or what you think is more optimal, let me know down in the comments because I try and read and I usually try and reply unless I'm really busy. But thank you so much. Join the Discord. Link is down below, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. But so what if I drank too much? This ain't love, it's just a fire and even if it's not enough, I'll say it once, I swear, I never lie, but this is the last time.